black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up, world? The back with a banger today. If it's not on your side, it's definitely on mine because today we get to this brown bag. And inside are magical treats, little hot dog flutes of heaven that I just are my favorite thing ever. It's just my favorite food in my hometown and I haven't hit it yet since I've been back. So I'm about to get to it and uh, let's find out what's inside. It is a bag. All right, we take a look inside and we have, we got some napkins. That's always good. It's a nice little start, even though they're loud. So I won't use them probably, but we have a nice little hidden gem in a, in a wax paper situation. So we lay it down and another one and another one. Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, that's another one. I'm basically DJ Khaled at this point. Another one. Oh, that's another one, but it's a different shape. It's a circle. Looks more like a burger. That's because it is. This ladies and gentlemen is an excessive amount of uh, Coney dogs and Coney burgers However, I do have one just ketchup. That's my dessert dog. Um, and yeah, I got an excessive amount because why not? Like I just, I haven't hit it yet since I've been home. Uh, it's been three months and I've held out this long. Um, and yeah, like I'm just turbo excited. So let's have a look at it. First, to come out of the negligee. Ooh, yes. And then we have the Loaded Boys. And the Loaded Boys are a steamed bun, a wiener, mustard, the sauce, the coney sauce, the meat sauce, and raw onion, the way it has to be. And these are the same basically, but just with a some cheese, cheeseburger, and a burger patty. And the burger patty has like the onions kind of smashed into them, like cooked into them. I always bring extra mustard to the party because I like it just with a little extra dab of that good yellow stuff. You know what I mean? And of course, we got the clear cup with the ice. A Diet Dr. Peas. Moment of silence for the pour-up. A fountain of youth. Dr. P is the fountain of truth. Nice blend. Let's get to it. It's gotta be done. So like I said, I've been in town three months and have not yet made it out to get some of these. And I've been thinking about them the whole time. Now, what I wanted to do was take you down on location, but unfortunately I caved before I did that. Anyways, have a look at it. Let's, let's kind of crack her open for you actually, just before we go. So these are like a Detroit, like a Detroit thing very Michigan um, that said though these ones here in my city are better don't tell them that but they are it's all about the steam bun and I promise you that's one thing my this city has on lock. Our bakeries make the craziest, the best buns. I swear to God. No word of lie. I have not found better bakery anywhere else in my life. It's just the bun is out of control. And then the meat sauce just has like this such a Greasy, fatty, rich flavor.
but in it is like a ton of like spices. Mm. Kind of like cinnamon, cinnamony clove. Very allspice. Almost borderline like jerk sauce. Like not quite though. Like not quite like that. Oh, but they're so, so good. But yeah, I wanted to actually one day walk there and uh, just kind of like bring you guys through the experience and then like go through and get it get it hot and fresh because when you take it home in the wrappers the sauce kind of soaks in when you get it fresh there and they put it on the like it's on the plate they serve it to you on the plate it just it's like so much more like like wet and like like it's just more dank that way but regardless the home dogs are like they're my home dogs like I'm the end of them The weather is still nice enough, though, that I could probably squeeze in that mission, that trip. Because when it gets, like, legit winter here, you ain't, you ain't walking nowhere. Have you ever seen the movie 30 Days of Night, the vampire one? Sick movie, by the way. Where, when they're in like that snowy ass Alaskan town, that's what this shit's like. It's bad. So I might be able to sneak that in before it gets too cold. And I was actually gonna show you guys along the way. From my like one really like my, my most legit ghost experience in my life from that story way back that i've told you guys in it you'll remember how i said my mom lived in like this apartment in a mansion that was like turned into apartments and i wanted to like on the way show you the mansion and like point out the window of where it is that i used to live and like saw that shit because it's on the way so i think it'd be just be kind of neat for you guys to like see the actual house so you can kind of put it to the story in a sense i think it'd be pretty cool let's go in for a burg and it's so crazy that this shit looks like dog food right like i'm with you you look at it you're like what's so special about that like low key you could be like seems disgusting bro like you need to chill the fuck out <laughs> nah bro you'd be wrong it is so delicious a little cheese in there just melted down and then I love how the bun gets kind of like soggy creates that like gelatinous bread mm -hmm. almost like when pizza dough is a little undercooked and it's got that little doughy gelatinous thing going on fire Now, usually, I'll mostly get four things, usually three dogs and one cheeseburger. But I figured for the sake of YouTube, mukbang, all this shit, go, go a little excessive, six items. We'll see if I can finish it. I'm also starving right now. Like I'm actually like stomachly prepared for this. 
also went on a hike today. Legit, like, up a mountain hike. And so that, like, obviously got the wheels turning, the hunger burning, ready to go in. Mm, what do I do? I always save the ketchup for last. I might go burger again. I'm actually intrigued to see, you know what? I've actually never tried this, so let's do something new together. Oh, easy, Peter. Ketchup. I have never ketchuped one of the burgers. So we we find out today. It's kind of like in the world of Coney, the purest is like the mustard, but they say like, you know, ketchup's kind of a sin. You really shouldn't be fucking with that, but it's working. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's as good. I think I like it with just the mustard. It's something so. I guess it's a, well. You know, it must be in the burger patty because I don't get the same on there. But there's something like more spicy in this. Or maybe not even spicy, like almost, you know, it might be, I think it's garlic, probably in the patty of the burger. You know how garlic and like ginger and stuff, like just be hitting you up kind of off guard with almost like that, almost like fragrant, pungent. It's not spicy, but it's like that. It's like that. It's kind of like spicy. Mm. You hit the burgers, you come back to the dog. And you realize why the dog is supreme, superior. It's the yeah, the flavor off that off the wiener. I love the flavor off the wiener. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have a field day with that one in the comments. Let's also get Dr. Pepper in this bitch. To sauce me up with a sponsorship. Like, I rep you fools enough to where you should at least be sending me cases at minimum, if not some from some money. Okay. Oh my god. You know what that was? That was clearing out space for the final countdown. The dessert dog, the one, two kid. Do we have enough ketchup on there? It's a light slathering. We'll give it a go, but I might have to add some more. I feel like I just dominated this meal. Which is fine. 
it's just a random amount of ketchup too. I feel like that's when these videos are at their best. When I'm actually really hungry and can crush. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then the simplicity of just dissolving the ketchup. Why is it so good? I don't understand. I'd love to know where they source their wieners from. There's something about the wiener that tastes so good. Very interesting. Mmm. What a hot meal. Banger. Too hot to touch. Oh, so, so fire. Well, that's a personal best for me. That's a new record. I've never eaten like six things from there in my life, but that went down surprisingly smooth. Well, if you never tried a Coney dog, try to make one yourself or source them in your city or fly to Detroit or here. Uh, till the next one, eat and live well, stay true.